Today on Animal Fact Files, we're going to be talking about the Puss Caterpillar. If you like learning facts about animals, then subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date on all the new content. Puss Caterpillars were suggested by Vidme user Krukogator. Thanks for the suggestion! Puss Caterpillars, who are also known as flannel moths in their adult stage, are not to be confused with the nightmare fuel that are Puss Moth Caterpillars, who are from a different family classification altogether. And for the sake of trying to be as clear as possible, we'll focus mainly on Southern Flannel Moths, or Megalopigae Opercularis, or Asp Caterpillars, or Possum Bugs, or Woolly Slugs. Yeah, they have a lot of different labels. Mmm, gotta love all those confusing naming conflicts we come across on this show. Puss caterpillars live primarily along the east coast of the United States and as far west as Texas in warmer climate areas. Species from the Megalopigae genus can be found in Central and South America as well. They are classified by some as a subtropical species and seem to prefer warmer temperatures. They also appear on a variety of plants guessed to number over 40, though some believe this is an exaggeration since they may move to different vegetation prior to forming their cocoons. Whatever the true number of host plants may be, primarily they are found in trees like elms and oaks. I'm just imagining the Pokemon professors covered in Puss Caterpillar inspired Pokemon now. Of course, the professors probably wouldn't appreciate these bug types on their skin since they would probably be a combo bug poison type. Okay, enough with the Poke references. What I mean to say is that Puss Caterpillars are actually venomous. Yes, beneath those fuzzy facades you'll find a fierce defense system. Hollow spines hidden below their furry exterior act as tiny needles that are able to pierce human skin and leave behind a red swollen rash or even more serious symptoms like vomiting and convulsions. So while they may look as cute as Chester, we would not recommend giving them a loving pat on the head. Under the look don't touch rule, an observer can notice that puss caterpillars come in a variety of colors ranging from nearly white gray to dark gray and burnt orangey yellows. They can even change color as they develop, and sometimes this is used as a reference point for their age. Their cocoons look rather dull gray, but typically have a tuft coming out of the back. Adult flannel moths maintain their hairy exteriors and come in even brighter hues with fuzzy black feet. They're typically about 1 to 1.5 inches in length. As caterpillars, they eat the leaves of their host plant, and as adults, they drink nectar from flowers. There isn't much information on their predators, maybe it has something to do with the whole venom thing. But young caterpillars have been observed being consumed, albeit begrudgingly, by anoles. They also fall victim to parasitic insects such as tachnia flies and wasps. The flies will lay their eggs on the puss caterpillar, which will then hatch and consume the pupae while in its cocoon and emerge once finished. Wasps will bore holes into the cocoons, laying their eggs inside to complete a task similar to the fly larvae. In order to try and deter this from happening, puss caterpillars will eat their molts, as those empty husks can be a honing beacon for predatory insects that there's food nearby. They also shoot their poop straight out of their butt, like a cork off a wine bottle. This is, again, to help keep where they've been less obvious to predators. They usually live as caterpillars for about six weeks, and I can't seem to find any information about how long they live as moths, though they typically breed twice in their lifetime, once in the spring right after emergence from their cocoon, and then again in the autumn. So it has to be more than a luna moth. For more facts on puss caterpillars, check out the links in the description. We'd like to give a big thank you to Krukogator for suggesting this animal. If you have any suggestions, let us know in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, and be sure to give a thumbs up for more animal fact files.